The government's new coordinating economy minister, Darmin Nasution, has outlined his priorities to reinvigorate the national economy. The former Bank Indonesia governor is forecasting stronger growth in the second half of this year. Darman has outlined three priority areas he plans to address immediately. First, the food sector, including cattle imports and the high price of beef. The second priority is accelerating state budget spending to boost infrastructure development and the provision of food stock. And third, bringing order to investment flowing into the country. Terkait dengan APBN juga, itu soal investasi. Ya. Investasi itu menyangkut juga soal capital inflow. Ya. Kenapa capital inflow? Karena sekarang ini sebenarnya eh, eh, kita agak kekurangan capital inflow. Itu sebabnya kemudian eh, kursnya agak, agak fluktuatif. Ya. Nah dari mana datangnya kebutuhan info itu ada macam-macam investasi bisa PMA PMDN bisa juga karena pemerintah menerbitkan uh, bonds di pasar internasional. Darman says economic growth in the third and fourth quarters will be supported by government expenditure as commodity prices are weakening. He says growth in the second half of the year will be high, although he stopped short of naming a target. Sebetulnya uh, pertumbuhan di kuartal 3 dan kuartal 4 itu yang tumbuh agak tinggi itu pengeluarannya. Pengeluaran di APBN. Ya. Ya, coba kalian lihat datanya. Tapi kalau GDP-nya tidak naik banyak, ada naiknya tapi sedikit. Ya, jadi kenapa begitu? Karena kalau tahun ini kuartal 3 dan 4 naik, kuartal tahun lalu juga begitu, growth-nya nggak berubah banyak. Kan pertumbuhan itu tergantung base-nya seperti apa. Kalau base-nya sama dengan pola sekarang, ya, tidak akan banyak. Indonesia's economic growth was 4.7% in the first half of the year, far below the initial target of 5.7%. The realisation of capital expenditure is 22% of the total budget allotment for 2015, which stands at 272 trillion rupiah.